their own view of marriage. A physical and emotional joining that has the promise of a lifetime. How <laughs> <laughs> um, many life paths and choices and decisions we have made bring us to stand here. All guided by something so innate, words cannot capture it. Yet it's that something that has carried us through and I'm confident we'll stay with us. Uh, my love cannot be expressed dutifully <laughs> with the words is that feeling you get when everything is just right. Similar to those moments of peace or serenity you feel at the top of the mountain are surrounded by love. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's two pages so uh, hopefully you... <laughs>
60 degrees of flowing by. We started with locked eyes across the room, standing and standing here today, your hands in mine, declaring our love to each other. And at first glance, I knew I liked you because you were the only girl I did not ask to dance that night. <laughs> Too nervous. That first summer together was the most magical time of my life. Every day was a new adventure with you, and I never wanted it to end. I fell in love with your enthusiasm to hike new trails, climb more peaks, ride bikes, and go on float trips. It was all I could do just to keep up with you. <laughs> what I admire most about you is your love of the outdoors and your preference to sleep out under the stars. The end of that first summer did come, and I did not know if we would see each other again. Fortunately, we did see each other again. We made plans to meet in Central America and travel for a few weeks together. We had an amazing adventure, and I learned how incredibly strong and brave you are. You traveled alone through Guatemala, Guatemala City to meet me. You got food poisoning. You got robbed. <laughs> you got stranded on a deserted island. <laughs> but despite all that, you still never skipped a beat, and I still struggled to keep up with you. <laughs> As we summited the tallest mountain we've ever climbed, and we went scuba diving in one of the many wonders of the world. Looking back, I realized that even the misfortunes of that trip were amazing because they were spent with you. Because we had each other, I knew everything would be okay. I'm sure that we will have a lot of ups and downs over the course of our lives, and I promise to always be there for you, to tell you that everything will be okay when times are tough, to take care of you when you're sick, bring you coffee in bed, <laughs> and to keep up with your adventurous spirit, and to love you with all of my heart in this life and the next. I will now read this beautiful passage of Heather and Warren's. When you are in love, you get to grab a piece of something indescribable and take it with you into your daily life. You don't have to trek to a river valley or to the top of a mountain to feel something larger than who you are. You can feel the beauty and enormity of it within your own heart. And that is really why we are here. Because love is enormous. And to take even a tiny piece into yourself and be able to experience and understand, this is the greatest gift of all. Because despite all of our differences, love is what we all share. It is the great unifier, our one universal truth. That no matter who we are, where we've come from, what we believe, we know this one thing. Love is what we are doing right. That's why you are both standing here. That's why we are all here. As witnesses to this union. We have all loved in our lifetimes and in this moment we are reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. Heather and Warren, it has been a privilege to get to know you and be friends with both of you. Since we met through the Harlequin Duck Program in Glacier Park, it has been a true joy to watch your relationship grow. And with that, I would like to give you our blessing. May you be happy, may you be at peace, may you always respect each other, may you allow each other to cry, may you go for long walks, sit under a full moon, may you truly listen to one another, may you always be that is the awareness of one another's presence. May you always have love and may you continue to find it loving one another. By the power of your love and commitment
commitment to each other and with great honor, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may now share your first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Present to you the newly married couple, Heather and Warren. Oh, yeah.